Handsome's fans, we just saw the film Dunkirk, directed by Christopher Nolan and written by Christopher Nolan, and it is an honor to have Mr. Julius here with me today for this review. He yes. is a big fan of history, and he's very smart in the subject, so it was really cool. I teach it. He teaches yeah, history. So. <laughs> uh, so being able to be with him for this film. First, I just want to say, wow, the the people that experience this event in real life, yeah. it is unbelievable. Yeah. A lot of heroic individuals involved. And it is just wow. Yeah, you can't you can't really, you know, go through that. And they did so. Three hundred thousand yeah. saved. That is. But yeah, from a film uh, from a filmmaking standpoint, this was a very well crafted film. The thing that comes into my mind right away when talking about this film is the sound design. Yeah. The sound, I, the sound is more important to this film than dialogue, and it just all connects yeah. it Honestly, all it very intense it felt like you were there <laughs> exactly where we were watching it that might the, when the planes were flying by you yes. heard it when the uh bullets, the bullets you heard oh, those it's terrifying it's so loud yeah Christopher it's Nolan. so good i or, love the mixing yeah what were some yeah. other thoughts you had about the film julius uh i love the uh soundtrack that they put on yeah mm -hmm. uh crafted orchestra that they had yes uh, i gotta think God. who that was because i know uh I think Hans Zimmer did the... Uh, yeah, Hans Zimmer did it. But he... Uh, did he do this movie too? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Did the soundtrack for that. Yeah, he, his, him and Christopher Nolan have a great team up for this movie. So, <laughs> the uh, also, the way this story is told is very interesting. It's not done in a typical, straightforward manner. Yep. And I think it might... It could be a little uh, confusing at first, but once, once you realize what's going on, it definitely makes the story more intriguing because you kind of get to realize, you know, what's about to happen and what's happening. Yeah. And it makes uh, the stakes... Uh, I mean, Very that's, interesting. Yeah, that's what Christopher Nolan's known for. His yeah. the way he handles time in all of his movies, like Inception, Memento. Oh, Memento! Uh, oh my gosh, that's Inter such Interstellar a well edited this. film. Yeah, so it's kind of like um, I don't want to compare it to Quentin Tarantino with the nonlinear storyline, but it it definitely follows that yeah. aspect of it. So he did a really great job. It's pretty good. Three storylines. Mm -hmm. Um, that all come together. Uh, what do you think about the uh, performances in the, the film? Performances? Mm -hmm. Oh well, I'm glad that uh, Bat or not Batman, uh, Bane mm -hmm. and uh, the Scarecrow. This was really a prequel movie before yeah. Batman begins. Yeah, it's always Christopher Nolan definitely <laughs> Christopher has those actors yeah. that he always likes to use, and I and I uh, and they're I mean I, yeah. great reason to. They're fantastic yeah. actors. Celine Murphy, Tom Hardy. Yeah, really great seeing them. Mark Rylance gives a really great performance. Yeah, it kind of sucks though with Tom Hardy. You don't really. You know, because he's an Air Force pilot. Yeah. So you don't really, you know, see the face, but that's okay. You know it's him. And uh, um, and even though, like, I, 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 uh, and even in Dark Knight Rises, we saw how great he could be with his yeah, eyes. Yeah, so, exactly. And when he was doing the eye movements in this film, I was like... Yeah, made you very anxious. Yeah, because um, he was really good at those. One of my favorite actors that I saw was Kenneth Branagh. Oh, Kenneth Branagh, yes. yes he is awesome. That's cool. Shakespearean. Uh, what did he do? King Henry, Hamlet, all yeah, those movies. Yeah, he was so good so in Hamlet. Good. Really cool um, seeing him in the film. Yeah, it's a good... I mean, it's a British movie. It's about a British event, so it's kind of fitting to have one of the biggest British actors in there. He's uh, so. He narr I, I, he narrates so much awesome stuff, too. Yeah. He's got such a good speaking voice. Yes, he does. Very pronounced. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, really good seeing yeah, him in the you film. Have to enunciate yes. you know, if you're Shakespearean. But speaking of British... Mm. How about Harry Styles? He, I was really, well, I was really pleased with his performance. He yeah. was not distracting in the slightest. Like yeah. when I first heard he might be in the film, I thought he might be like, oh, that's, I mean, nothing wrong with One Direction, yeah. but, uh, or the former One Direction. Uh, but uh, it was really, really <laughs> cool seeing him in there, and I thought he would give a really, I don't want to say subtle, but a really, like, he wasn't distracting at all, and he felt like he was one of the one of the guys. And... Yeah, I mean, because these guys are all young mm -hmm. soldiers, so mm -hmm. he fit right in. Oh, well, do you have any uh, final thoughts on the film, Julius? Well, let's see, what would you rate it out of 10? Out of 10, I would go... Uh... Want me to go first? Yes. I would go with a 9, I think. A 9? Yeah. You know what, I'll... Uh... I'm between an 8.9 and a 9. You see, because I gave Spider-Man an 8.5. Yeah. So, I gotta give this one a 9, I think. No, yeah, just from the the sheer the sound design of this movie alone deserves yeah. a 9. So, you know what? I'll join you on that. It was yeah. really, really well this is edited film. Yeah. Like, this is... Ev like, and also, I just want to th throw it on the cinematography, too. Like, those shots when you're in the plane and you see the ocean. Yeah. And it's turning around. Oh, my gosh. Like, I really, I really been interested to see how much of this film was... Done practically because I know Christopher Nolan loves practical, practical stunts. Effects, yeah, so you know what we haven't talked about yet though, 
the historical accuracy of it. Yes, Julius, take so, it away. This is your special. Yeah, the, it was. There's some slight mistakes there. Um, I think in the first opening shot, this is so um, like a small mistake, but it's oh, fine. Oh, hey. Um, the first opening shots, you see the Royal Air Force. Their logo is like a red, blue, and white circle, but in the movie, it was like red and green. I don't know if you caught that. It's like a circle design. I, I, was, no, I was trying to figure out who the yeah. each uh, side of the planes were on. Yeah, the Germans, they look like they had a pretty accurate aircraft that they used, so um, that was good. Uh, but... I don't know, maybe it might have been an issue with the the British Air Force. Maybe they can't actually use their logo or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, as far as the events, pretty much lined up. Um, we talked about whether or not this is spoiler-free. And what do we what do we think about that? Well, I mean, uh, it is... Well, it's, yeah, it's a historical event, so... I think the only real... Like, if we were to... I think it'd be more spoiler if, like, we came out and said, like, how... Because, I mean, I, would, I certainly didn't know if the film was told the way it's told. Yeah. So I think maybe that could, like... Just, like, if go into specifics with that. But, yeah, I'm, I agree with you on that. Yeah. But, um... Let's see. The leaflets that they dropped... Mm -hmm. Um... Those weren't really accurate. I mean, they used the the movie poster for those leaflets. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look online, you can find the real leaflets right away. Uh, it's actually in French and in English, too. It wasn't just in English. Um, as far as uh, accuracy, one thing that they really did well was um, the first, like, three minutes of the movie, someone says, where the hell are they? They referring to referring to the Royal Air Force because they didn't really show up to uh, fight the, uh, the Luftwaffe the German Air Force. Um, and even, I don't know if this is spoiled, but in the end, they, they make a comment about it too. So that's really brilliant because that's a historical debate that they actually had going on uh, regarding Dunkirk. So I thought it was really well done, history-wise. It's going to be, I feel like this movie, 10 years down the line, is going to be one of the great you know history movies like Saving Private Ryan. Um, and we haven't gotten one of those in a while, so I'm really, I'm really happy yeah. to have one. I'm really glad that a great director like Christopher Nolan really got to combine his talents with the topic like this because yeah he really this was a I, I think it was a very special film like you said and I really yeah. I think we'll see at least for best I, I hope it gets nominated or, or wins best sound design yeah definitely and I think it, and I think it'll definitely be in the running for many more awards as well yeah what would you do to uh, improve it improve it that's a that's a question right yeah. there that is a question <laughs> um well, it's not necessarily was a, necessarily a con with me, yeah. but I think maybe some people want to go into a movie like this. And I mean, we I, we did have connections with these characters, mm -hmm. but I think some people might want like one or two like main people to follow. Yeah, which they're definitely. not. There's kind of a lot of sub things going on. Yeah, but uh, that like I said, that wasn't really. I didn't, it didn't bug me at all, really. Yeah. I mean, I, lo I really love the sound. Like mm -hmm. I really love the sound, but there are times when it's just too loud and it freaks you out. Yeah, right. so maybe maybe if you maybe in IMAX it's more natural. Cause yeah. We didn't see an IMAX. Yeah maybe, yeah, maybe it's just the theater we watched in, but yeah. overall it's pretty good. All right, thank you all for watching, Ticket Subs fans. Uh, make sure if you saw the movie Dunkirk, uh, let us know how you liked it in the comments. And uh, yeah, till next time. Thank you, Julius, again for providing really, really, really awesome uh, perspective on everything. No problem. Thank you for yeah. giving the historical insight on yeah. everything. You're very knowledgeable in that area, so yes. thank you again. It's been a while since I was on this channel, so... It's, it's an honor to have you back. Yes. It's the first time you're not on the table. With, yes. Uh, I think last time you were in the sunglasses. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were doing a summer, summer special. Summer. And I think uh, uh, we have to do go back and see how that will turn yeah. out, the results. Yeah. Or we can do more of these. Yeah, I like these. These are definitely yeah, We haven't fun. done one of these. These are fun, too. The last time we saw a movie, this thing... These didn't exist. Yeah, the channel wasn't. Yeah. The channel was just, just made like in March of yeah. 2015, and I think we saw Angel Vulture. That was before yeah. we made content. Yeah. Then we so. saw Kingsman before that, and then hopefully uh, Kingsman Golden Circle yeah. coming out. Yeah, we should watch that together. Yes, Let's we should. Commit this in the video. We're commit, gonna watch it's it. committed. The Golden yes. Circle. All yeah. right, I like this. All right, bye everyone. Thank you for watching. <laughs>